things rolling. I'm Jack Whitty with Corrective Asphalt Materials, the owner of the company. Um, we manufacture Reclamite and CRF. And um, I'm also one of the founding members of the uh, Missouri Pavement Preservation Council. So we started that last year through the National Center. This is our second year, and we're trying to build that up and get things rolling. You're up. If you go too long, I'm going to pull you right off stage. I'm Pierre Peltier. I'm here with Strouser Construction Incorporated. We are a preservation company based out of uh, Columbus, Ohio. Here with Mike Metzger. And uh, stop by the booth and see us. Morning. I'm Dale Williams with Missouri Asphalt Pavement Association. I'm here representing the Asphalt Pavement Alliance, which is an alliance between the National Asphalt Pavement Association, the Asphalt Institute, and the State Asphalt Pavement Associations. Thanks. Good morning. My name is Craig Stump. I'm with Eurotech USA. We are a uh, polymer injection company for deep injection, basically zero excavation to preserve your pavement, pavements. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Dave Henderson with Asphalt Materials. We're a heritage group portfolio company based in Indiana. We do uh, contracting, materials supply, and testing in the uh, preservation space. Um, our booth is right out here. We're promoting a product called J-Band. There was a lot of conversation yesterday about longitudinal joints, and we're focused on that. So we'd love to have you stop by. Thank you. Good morning. I'm uh, Nelson with uh, Cola Solutions. We're a uh, uh, manufacturer of the fiber map process, which you heard uh, Adriana talk a little bit about. We're down on uh, NCAT, and uh, we have a booth over here to talk about it. And I'm also here with John from Road Fabrics, who's our uh, licensee for the state of Missouri in this area of the uh, country. Welcome. Good morning. Uh, my name is Mario perez -Casar. I'm with VSS Macro Paver. We manufacture microsurfacing equipment, so come see Daniel and myself at the booth right at the door. Uh, we also bought some uh, companies recently, so come see, come see us. And um, for the guys that may not know, uh, we're also um, building a continuous machine. So uh, if you guys want to know a little bit more details, come see us. Thank you. I'm Chris Carwey. I'm with uh, FBT Infrastructure. Um, we sell a variety of, of maintenance products, partial duct patches, full duct patches, um, longitudinal joint sealants, a lot of bridge products. Um, but the product really we're here to talk about is really a product called Fibercrete. Um, fortunately, there's going to be a demo today of a product called Techcrete, which is a product and that's very similar to Fibercrete. We meet the same specification. Um, it's a partial depth patching material, and we'll tell one quick story for about 30 seconds. I actually got into this product because I was a contractor in the concrete paving business, and we were looking for a partial depth patching material that could hold and actually remain flexible over time. And so we've been using this product in a contracting business for about 15 to 20 years. So please come out and see the demo, and we'll talk about it more. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, Jack, you might want to get your hook ready. Uh, <laughs> I'm bad with these things. Uh, I'm Chuck Ingram, uh, uh, here with the International Slurry Surfacing Association. We're generally kind of considered the, uh, uh, a clearinghouse for uh, a, a good source for promotion, education, and training uh, with regard to the four disciplines that we represent, slurry seal, microsurfacing, crack treatments, uh, and chip seals. Um, I'm going to spend about 10 seconds apiece on three things I want to talk to you about out of our booth if you get a minute. Um, you know, Tim mentioned yesterday we were, we we're working with Dr. Bram at uh, University of Arkansas with a uh, college curriculum program that's going on. Uh, we're going to roll that out uh, in the not too distant future. It's going to be available on our website through the learning management system at ISSA, uh, which leads me to the second bullet point I wanted to touch on that will be available for members only, most likely. Uh, we have started by board action. Um, uh, allowing agency as well as academia uh, members to join the association at no cost. So we've got some information about that over here at the booth. Uh, listening to the panel here yesterday, a lot of APWA members are in here. Uh, our friend Jason Dietz with FHWA and his team are offering uh, free registration, sponsoring free registrations to our annual uh, slurry systems workshop that will be a virtual option uh, that will be out there and available for uh, uh, all agencies, big and small, uh, uh, for, for some registrations there to be available. I need you to come by and give me some information, contact information so I can reach out to you and, and make sure you can take advantage of that sweet offer that, uh, that's going to happen for this workshop. It's going to be a, uh, about a 12 PDH worth of package for you. Uh, 
at no cost. So you're not going to get that kind of training for that kind of price. So stop by and talk to us about it. We're out here where the food is not. Well, following Chuck is a rough uh, spot. My name's Aaron Roy. I'm the Midwest account manager for Nurion. Formerly, uh, a few years ago, we were called Axo Nobel. So we supply, uh, primarily for this audience, asphalt emulsifiers for chip seal emulsions, microsurfacing, uh, full depth, cold in place, all that suite of things, as well as warm mix additives and anti-strips. So come by if you want to have any chat about that. Hey all, I'm Candace with Pacific Geosource. So we're a company who specializes in combining our reinforcement solutions with our engineering um, specialization. So if y'all have any interest in swinging by, we're right out front here, come visit with us. Hi, I'm Tom Cannon with Maxwell Products. We make hot pour crack sealants and mastics and patch materials of the asphalt kind. For the last, I'd say 15 years, we've made a special emphasis on improving and, and kind of perfecting mastic products. So if you're trying to provide a good ride out there and along the way you have to deal with some potholes or some, some pavement seams or transverse cracks or alligator areas or ruts, till you can do something major f two or three or five years later and you're interested, come and see us. Thanks. Good morning. I'm Tom Wyman, Vice President, Testing, Monitoring, and Engineering for BDI. We provide uh, pavement instrumentation. We provide this service and instruments for accelerated test pavement facilities, universities, and contractors uh, in the U.S. and throughout the world. Um, and we also provide NDE services, and I'll have my colleague Stan Smith. Thank you. Uh, we do all kinds of NDE on all kinds of structures, whether we're talking about asphalt, concrete, steel, or uh, timber even, where we're using uh, ground penetrating radar, acoustic techniques, ultrasonic techniques. So we've got a, a wide swath of tools to apply to your solutions. Thank you. Good morning, uh, Jason Trotter with International Cybernetics, ICC. We are a manufacturer of testing equipment for pavement profiling, pavement surface condition, friction testing. We also offer services related to that, so it's a great opportunity here to find out, you know, our piece of the puzzle in terms of providing data to people, how it's used, where it's coming out. So I uh, appreciate the opportunity to be here, and thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. My name is Will Tompkinson. work for Phase 1. We're based out of Broomfield, Colorado. <coughs> We manufacture these amazing right-of-way cameras that you would like, that you may want to uh, encourage your local data collection vendor, your, your friendly data collection vendor to incorporate on the next project. Um, could, go on, could go on about uh, all its specs and everything, but why you'd want to use them? Well, if you have responsibilities that extend beyond just pavement, um, and actually, you may not have realized, but I've, also, I've seen in some of the presentations this week already some images taken by these cameras already, so that's good to see. But if, you're, but if you are interested in the wider road inventory assets, um, such as knowing what date signs are installed, so you're looking for those little date stickers on the signs, um, those little details can be pulled out from the imagery on these cameras, along with all the other data that these data collection vendors are collecting, um, and so reduce the, reduce the number of crews you may want to send out afterwards. So if you'd like to know, know more, see some great imagery, come and have a chat on the stand in the big room next door. Thank you very much, everybody. Hi there, I'm Caitlin Kalakak. I'm with Microservicing Contractors. Uh, we are a microservicing contractor in Illinois, Iowa, Missouri, and Indiana. Um, also a founding member of the pavement, or Missouri Pavement Preservation Council. Looking forward to seeing you guys. Good morning, I'm Matt Ross with CTS Company. We are a uh, manufacturers of the Rapid Set uh, products. Our product is a standalone CSA cement. This cement was developed to basically address the shortcomings of Portland cement. Portland cement is a great product used universally, but it has a couple of uh, weaknesses. One is it doesn't gain strength very quickly is what we need often, and it also has a lot of shrinkage to it. Our product basically addresses both those issues. We get you 2,000 to 3,000 PSI in a couple hours. 
You can be back driving on that pavement in three hours. Also, uh, there's little to no shrinkage in our product because we use up all of the water in the hydration process. So come over to our booth and visit us. Maybe we have something that'll help you in some of your patching applications. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Keith Sirota, and I'm here with Parker Aubin at our uh, booth in the other room. Uh, we're here representing InfraSense, which is a NDE specializing company. We focus on using GPR, infrared thermography, and acoustic methods to map pavement condition, thickness, and um, other factors that uh, affect the condition of the roadway in the, the remaining life. Uh, we also specialize in uh, subsurface imaging and mapping for uh, utilities. Uh, voids uh, and anything anything from zero to about 30 feet below the surface. Uh, we're in the other room, like I said, come chat with us. Thanks. Good morning, I'm Larry Schofield with the International Grooving and Grinding Association. Been to a lot of these, hopefully to continue some more. I'm also happy to announce this is the 50th anniversary of the formation of International Grooving and Grinding Association. So we have been around for a while. We're going to be around. We'd like to be your pavement preservation source. The other thing I'd like to do is mention that uh, Mr. Matt Zeller, who's not in the room, he's overworking at our booth, um, is here with me. And the, why that's important um, is the chapter state executives for ACPA actually co-fund our participation in this event. So we're trying to get them more involved. And, and you guys, there he is right there. Raise your hand there, Matt. So thank you. Hi, I'm Jacob Pellman from Manly Communications. We offer both data collection services and also build vehicles for data collection. And we offer both pavement condition data used for your pavement preservation decision making, like we're talking about here, but then also asset inventory uh, for things such as signs and guardrails and also the condition data of those things too. Uh, so while you're out you know, repairing your, your road surface, you can also potentially look into repairing those too. And then all of that data is put together in our web-enabled application, Roadview Explorer. Uh, for easy visualization. Um, so feel free to swing on by and say hi. Thanks. Hi, my name is Mike Hartman. I'm vice president of Missouri Petroleum <laughs> Products, a company out of St. Louis. We uh, perform, we're a contractor for pavement maintenance, chip seal, microservicing, uh, asphalt under seal. Uh, we also manufacture emulsions and cutbacks. And we're here in St. Louis, and if anybody needs to talk, we'll, we'll be around. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Don Johnson and I represent Dustral Incorporated in the Upper Midwest. I'm here with uh, Doug Gordon who represents uh, Dustral in the western part of the United States. Dustral is a 100% employee owned company and uh, 2023 will be our 50th year. Um, so a, a big thing as far as I'm concerned. Um, we do hot in place recycling and we do milling. Um, pretty much throughout the Midwest. And uh, if you have questions or comments, please let me know. But I want to do a little perk for this magazine. If you haven't seen it, this is the fall issue of Pavement Preservation Journal. And uh, there's a very interesting article in it about hot in place recycling. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Brian. I'm with a company called Steel Master. I am based here locally out of Bridgeton, Missouri. I'm here with one of our corporate reps, uh, Cody Hale, out of Ohio. Uh, we are a pavement maintenance products manufacturer. Uh, we manufacture pavement, seal, uh, pavement sealants, uh, road surface treatments, uh, patch repair products, crack sealants, mastic products. Uh, those products will be demoed uh, this afternoon, I believe, at 3 o'clock. Uh, so definitely hope you attend that. Uh, we have everything from traffic marking paints and the equipment to apply all of these products. So pretty extensive product line that we offer. We would love to have you stop by our booth and cover some of those products with you guys. Thank you. I'm John Calvert. I'm with Pavement Technology Incorporated. Uh, this year we are celebrating our 50th year in business. All we have done for 50 years, we've been in pavement, pavement preservation the whole time. Uh, we are primarily a reclamite applicator and joint bond applicator. Joint bond we developed in 2003 as the first longitudinal joint stabilizer at the request of one of our friends, Jim Sorensen, y'all remember him. And uh, so we developed that. We've got over 4,000 miles of joint bond down, successfully holding longitudinal joints together across the nation. Uh, we also introduced a new product. It's a maltine-based rejuvenator with titanium dioxide uh, called ARA1TI. Uh, we did that and uh, with some research from Texas A&M and LSU, and their results, their testing results, showed that the TI in that does eat greenhouse gases and does lower the uh, greenhouse emissions along pavements. 
Uh, yesterday we had a question about uh, rejuvenators and how long did they extend the life of a pavement. Uh, I've been with pa pavement technology for 19 years. Before that, I was a public works manager for 30 years. I was the first city in Tennessee back in 1994 to use a product called Reclamite on our streets. And what we saw uh, blew us away. And after a 30 year history there, what we saw with the Reclamite application, if we did two applications on any of our local roadways, we were extending our resurfacing cycle by seven to nine years. So it's, it's well worth the investment of putting it down. It's a good insurance policy for your pavements. Come by and talk to us. Good morning. I'm Sean Bross with Vance Brothers. Uh, we are a, an emulsion manufacturer uh, based in Kansas City. Um, also a pavement preservation contractor. Uh, we do microsurfacing, chip seal, scrub seals, uh, everything like that. Um, also a member of the Missouri Pavement Preservation Council. Thank you. Hi, I'm Molly Anderson. I'm with Forda Asphalt Fiber. We have a couple different fibers for different preservation applications as well as hot mix. We have a booth right outside the door if you'd like to stop by and talk to us. Thanks. You're almost done. I'm Scott with Pathway. Uh, I'm here to talk about the important stuff. We have USB drives and pens and some, <laughs> we've given like three cases of coffee away. So we're not above bribery. There's a booth out there. We can talk about LIDAR or friction testing or, or just give you free stuff. So come on by. Now you're really almost done because I've got coffee cups. So I'm Dave with, uh, Dave Kaspchik with uh, Craftco, and uh, we've been in business since 1975. We're the only manufacturer in the world of uh, both the equipment and the materials that runs through for the uh, pavement preservation. Uh, today we are performing the uh, hot pour polymer, uh, our TechCrete product, which is, uh, as the FiberCrete guys uh, uh, I've alluded to, it's a similar product. We really want to encourage you to be there and uh, look at this. Uh, uh, it's a very cost-effective way to uh, uh, preserve a lot of these pavements. So we're looking forward to seeing you. Our booth is uh, in the area with food by the guy with the coffee. All right, let's give a round of applause to our industry. Thanks, everybody, for all your sponsorships. We appreciate it. The preceding was produced by the National Center for Pavement Preservation. More information can be found on the web at pavementpreservation.org. Additional support provided by Michigan State University.